we're going to start with Jeff Metcalf and then Alex Simon. Hi. Hi. Hey, Jeff. One, I haven't had a chance to ask you about um, you guys adding to your family. Um, what, 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 is that something you guys have always wanted to do to have a sibling and, um, you know, just sort of increase the, 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 the child chaos around, around the two of you or? Yeah, you know, we both come from families of siblings, you know, I have an older sister and Penny has an older sister and a younger brother. So, um, you know, I think it was just something that we've always um, thought um, was going to be the case of having a bigger family, Leo having a, a little sister um, and, you know, uh, having lots of little cousins running around. So uh, we're really excited. Um, you know, it's coming coming fast and, uh, and we're excited. What, um, Bri Brianna Stewart, they, she just became a parent. What, what does it feel like to have all of you kind of joining this, you know, not all of you, but a lot of you kind of having children now? Yeah, I'm so happy for, um, for Stewie and Marta. Um, they're unbelievable um, friends, unbelievable people, um, and they're going to be great mothers. Uh, and, you know, Stewie and I talked about it a little bit at the end of the Olympics, and uh, I told her she's going to be busy, real busy. Uh, but, you know, she's, uh, she's someone who has her stuff together really early in life. So uh, they're going to be great mothers, and, you know, it just makes your life that much better. Um, we thought basketball brought you everything that you wanted, but this is a whole different level of, uh, of love. Yeah, and just one more thing on this. Do you, does this change? How does this kind of just change your attitude about the rest of the season, knowing you have a, another child coming in October? Is it, is it easy to like compartmentalize and focus on individual things or you've kind of learned now you, to have two sides of this coin, right? Yeah, you know, you got to be um, extra prepared. Um, you got to make sure your time is is, uh, is spent wisely throughout the day. So um, at this point, when I'm in the gym, I'm trying to do everything possible to get ready for the game tonight. Um, and then when I get home, you know, just make sure I, um, I'm present and, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm there with my family and, you know, go from there. Great, thanks. I get that picture to you too, Jeff. I have it on. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Next will be Alex Simon. Hi, Dana. I want to say congratulations on the incoming child. I do have basketball questions for you, but I have just one more non-basketball question here. Obviously, with a son named Leo and a dog named Messi, I was wondering <laughs> if you had any thoughts on his move. It seems like uh, you being the Argentinian fan that you are and the Argentinian by birth, I would assume you had a thought or two on what's happened there. Um, you know, it's always sad to see someone leave. Um you know, a club that they've been with their whole lives. Um, I understand that obviously very personally. And, uh, you know, people who've played in one place their whole careers, you know, there's there's a love affair there that sometimes is good, sometimes is bad, but it's always there. So to see him leave is a, is a bit sad. And then, you know, on the flip side, um, you can tell uh, it was time in, in a lot of ways. And, and you know, uh, football is different than basketball um, and the movement and the way people um, kind of change uh, the way of thinking is a lot different than it was, you know, maybe 15, 10 years ago. So uh, I'm excited for him. I'm excited to watch him and Neymar and Mbappe and Di Maria play together. And there's an Argentine coach there. So I'm excited to see PhD uh, play and hopefully win Champions League. And for you guys now to go back to basketball after all of this, with the way you guys were able to play, obviously I'm sure the first half turnovers was the thing that you guys immediately identified as a big thing and corrected in that second half. But it did feel like, especially in that second half on the defensive end, you guys figured out kind of how you think you can have a formula that works on the defensive end that carries to good offense as well. Yeah, I, you know, the first half was kind of funny because I think uh, for the first quarter, we played an amazing first quarter. Uh, and then, you know, they, they uh, ramped up the energy and, you know, they're a tough team. They're, you know, they're quick and defensively they get in passing lanes, which, you know, it took us a little bit to adjust to. But in the second half, I think we, ju we were just really solid, um, you know, in our coverages, um, in our attention to detail. Um, and then that translated into pretty good offense, moving the ball. We had a lot of people playing well and, and being aggressive. So um, I think if we can keep that, that balance of, of making sure we're really steady on defense and then moving the ball on offense, you know, I, I think those are two things that will – will really help us going forward into these last, you know, couple of weeks. And obviously with 
yourself with BG with Sky, who all went to the Olympics, you know, especially when you were out for portions of that, the last part of the WNBA regular season, you know, Sandy had to run BG and Sky really heavily Mm -hmm. to kind of be able to manage some minutes, maybe keep you on the court a little less than maybe you would normally play. Is that kind of something that you're understanding of your own kind of injury things to want to, you know, make sure you're good for every game the rest of the way and into the playoffs? Yeah, you know, that's something obviously that you have to manage a little bit uh, more closely when you're um, a little bit older. Uh, BG and Scott, I'm not worried about. They're young. But what about yourself, I guess? It's especially hey, and that's something I have to obviously be a little bit more conscious of, and I think Sandy does too. Uh, you know, we, we talk a lot, and, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I just want to be out there. I want to play. But I know the, the long game is, is uh, you know, a certain amount of minutes, which, you know, gives you a better probability of being back on the court the next day. So I think we're, we're figuring that out. And, uh, you know, I think the other night was, um, I think I played like 27, 28 minutes, which I guess is uh, ideal. All right. Thanks for the time, Diana. Bye guys.